already Gemini's this is going to be your reading for May 2019 thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into your messages for this month If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me as well, please make sure you do check out the description box as well as check there or check there as well for my link for my Patreon if that is something that you're interested in to see the extended version of this reading where we will look at your cross watcher um, as far as love goes for the month of May and also where the rest of my weekly messages go. All right, give me one card for my Gemini's for the month of May, 2019. Okay, and then one card from here. Give me one card for my Gemini's for May, 2019. All right, there it goes. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and unpack this. Before we do, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse the energy. So I'm going to go ahead and ring my bell. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and talk about this, Gemini's. So for the month of May, I feel like you guys are going to be feeling a sense of longing for some changes to take place in your love life um, or just in your emotions overall. I feel like you guys want more. You guys want more. And it's like you've been settling. You've been trying to find a way to make things work. But now you guys are reaching this place where emotionally it's time for you to make some changes for your happiness, for what you truly deserve out of life. And I feel like <clears throat> in the month of May, you will have the opportunity to seek out what works for you, what emotionally is going to be fulfilling to you. Okay. With this though, I feel like in the month of what in the month of May, excuse me. In the month of May, you guys are definitely going to be needing to balance out some things as far as for some of you guys, like your life may be like I said, imbalanced. So you may spend too much time at work and not spending enough time as far as like resting and letting yourself recuperate for the next day maybe you're you know spending 16 20 hours doing work and then only letting yourself only have like four hours of sleep so where there is imbalances this month that will be apparent to you and you will be in charge of fixing those imbalances okay but it is important for you guys to keep things light and also stay in touch with your your inner well-being like how you're really doing below the surface instead of just focusing on the mundane things when it comes to life because for some of you guys there may be some imbalances like in finances and that may be taking a toll on you or imbalances like i said with work and home life whatever it may be you just need to make sure that you guys are like i said Putting things in place there. Also, for some of you guys, you may be trying to multitask. I feel like you do need to make sure, again, that you have a good grip on that and not putting too much on your back. Um, also, what I'm seeing here, again, for the month of May, I feel like <laughs> there's opportunities that are around you, but you may not be noticing it or you may not be trusting that the universe is gonna look out for you or that it may be good for you. For some of you guys, again, this is boredom. This is straight up boredom um, and there's some moves that you need to make. And I feel like clarity is only gonna come to you guys when you finally realize what's blocking you from stepping into the level of happiness that you're seeking, okay? 
But moving forward, the card that I did pull for you guys, it says exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And this says the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own routine. So a lot of you guys, like what you need to do when it comes to bringing some new energy into your life is find something that keeps you going. Like I know me, when I'm not working, I find some sort of activity that I'm really, really interested interested in that keeps me entertained. And for some of you guys, this is speaking more of like your energy levels. Like some of you guys, when your energy is low, you need to look at what you are doing in your day-to-day -day routine that may be bringing your energy down and try to, again, replace that with something that's going to invigorate you, basically. <laughs> and the card that I also have here as well, it says perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So in the month of May, I also feel like things are going to align. Like I said, a lot of things are going to be very apparent to you this month especially when it comes to your journey here. And I feel like you guys will realize that you have what it takes to change your circumstance if that is something that you want to do. So let's go ahead and pull some cards here. See what's going on with your love life. What's going on with my Gemini's love life for May 2019? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini's love life for May 2019. Okay. So your person's feelings for you, your feelings for your person, the advice for the month of May. The outcome of your love life for the month of May. And the obstacle. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So first card that I do want to cover, this is the person that you're dealing with, their feelings for you. We have the five of cups in reverse. So with the Five of Cups being upright, I feel like this person was in a space of being regretful for how this connection may have fell apart, especially if there was other people involved in it that may have caused some issues or just several times that this person may have messed up the opportunity to build a relationship with you. For some of you guys as well, this person is feeling like you may be feeling regretful, okay? It could be uh, vice versa. Again, take this reading how it resonates, but... With this card, this person is feeling a sense of regret. Um, they may still be focusing on everything that may have went wrong and having a hard time with moving past that and seeing the actual relationship for what it is or actually even moving on with their love life in general. Um, I feel like also it's, it's hard for them to let this just be water under the bridge. Like it really was at one point, but with the five of cups in reverse... I feel like this person's coming out of that space of being regretful and still thinking about what didn't work out in the past and just moving into a space of leaving the situation the way it is with the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands in reverse. They may have felt like they had to just leave the situation alone because it may have been an energetic burden here and they may just be focusing on work. But what I am seeing here for your feelings for them, we have the tower in reverse. So you may be avoiding the situation because you may feel as if this is a disaster waiting to happen. Um, this may be unstable, so you may not be going there with the situation. And you may just be focusing more on money. You may feel a sense of unhappiness as well with this person. Or for some of you guys, you may feel as if 
again, you want to avoid some sort of tower situation. So you want to focus on money because you may feel like this situation is no good. But what I am seeing for the advice, we do have the two of wands. So I do feel like you guys do need to decide which way you're going to go about your connections this month, okay? Especially when it comes to moving to a better place mentally. I feel like some of you guys need to take more control over that. And for some of you guys as well, when it comes to communication... There is a way for you guys to move to a better place as far as conversation goes and communication goes, but somebody here is feeling like they can't get control over it, but you can, um, especially if you're dealing with the fire sign. But what I am seeing for the outcome of your love life for this month, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So I feel like there is going to be a turn of events. Um, there is going to be a turn of luck for you guys when it comes to a, a relationship where there may have been mind games or somebody's like mentally revisiting it. I feel like this may be somebody who you have deep feelings for. This may be a water sign or another air sign. But I feel like there is going to be a turn of events with somebody who you care about emotionally. This person may be either getting caught up here or somebody is no longer going to be avoiding you. Um, cause for some of you guys, this person may have been avoiding you or you may stop avoiding this person. But what I am seeing here for the obstacle for this month, we do have the three of swords, the nine of swords and the seven of pentacles. So I feel as if for the month of May, the obstacle may be like, again, cheating or again, a sense of heartbreak that somebody is still feeling and feeling a sense of anxiety as well. Like somebody here is feeling a sense of anxiety bad due to the fact that they feel like they put time into this and they're waiting for some sort of uh, return on their investment into this connection here. Um, but yeah, I really feel like somebody this month may get their heart broken or heartbreak is the obstacle. Like somebody already did get their heart broken. And you guys, this may be you guys because it is air energy. You guys may have gotten your heart broken. You may be anxious about investing more time into this because you may feel as if uh, it's best for you to just leave it behind because it may not be in that space of stability like it should be as far as the connection goes. But we're going to finish this off on the other side. If you guys do want to see the rest of this reading, make sure you hit that Patreon link below in my description box. Again, if you do want to find out any information about booking me or seeing the extended version, that will be below and I will see you guys on Patreon. Have an awesome month.